Well, in an area known for hot, dry summers and never-ending wind, salt has become an industry. Located in western Oklahoma, just 50 miles from the Great Salt Plains, lies an underground salt river, a natural resource that's been harvested since 1919. Our Lisa Hines takes us to the Cargill Solar Salt Plant near Freedom, Oklahoma. From atop a nearby hill, it's easy to see just how massive an operation Cargill Solar Salt Plant is. Todd Reasons is the plant manager. I think we have about 1,700 acres total. To have a solar salt facility, you need hot, dry um, conditions, which Oklahoma has, and also you need the, uh, the wind helps in the evaporation process. Plus, the most obvious reason is there's a natural brine source or salt water under, underneath the property that we own here. From 100 feet deep wells, water is pumped onto the Oklahoma Plain, where it sits and evaporates. Imagine, if you will, a glass of salt water you've left on the cabinet. When you mix the salt with the water, it dissolves. But once the water evaporates, you're left once again with salt. That's the same process Cargill uses, only on a much larger scale. Harvested from September to December, the salt is piled into huge mountains over three stories high and then processed throughout the year into various salt products. Water conditioning is one of our main products. And then we also do a lot of agricultural salt pro products like salt blocks um, and then um, various industrial users that use bulk industrial salt. All harvested with huge machines where safety is always the rule. Um, we place a, a huge emphasis on our employees, our number one asset. Um, and related to that is, is our whole safety program, making sure we keep our, our employees safe. Charlotte Hadwiger is the Business and Industry Services Coordinator at Northwest Technology Center. When you, when you consider that they deal with such massive and potentially hazardous machinery on a daily basis. To have one lost time accident in 13 years is just remarkable. Quite amazing considering Cargill harvests 140 tons of salt each year. Well, interestingly, the drought this year, which was certainly hard on farmers, helped Cargill harvest almost double the salt they normally would.